911, please state your emergency. Hi, my name is Sean Aston. What's your emergency, please? My emergency is that all the operators for 911 aren't getting enough cred. Uh, then what do you do? Then you then you send me over to the you send me to the police probably, right? Maybe you send, is there a PR department? Does the does the 911 guy hold on, please? Boom. Hello, 911 publicity department. How may I help you? Well, finally, who who hired you? Who are you? You need a better job. We need someone better to do your job. You know what? I could do your job. If you don't go out there and make sure that these 911 operators, all right, the public safety telecommunications folks, you know, in this week where we're supposed to be celebrating, you get that word out. You get that word out. You let them, you let people know. You let people know that the 911 operators are, hold on a second. Hello? Oh, sorry, I'm still on. Sorry. <clears throat> This little skit was brought to you from my heart. Hi, I'm Sean Astin. I am the actor who was in Rudy, the movie Rudy, and, and the Goonies, and Stranger Things, and in uh, uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and other stuff, 50 First Dates. Anyhow, I have an experience with 911 that, that I, I really, I don't think I've really shared with anyone. This is like the first time I think I've shared this outside of like the family. So... With my wife and I, we've been together 30 years now. When we first met, she first, we were kind of living together in my little town house, it's more of a condo. We had this window that looked out over, it was in Studio City, and it looked out over the LA Wash, and kind of a heavily trafficked area. I mean, 911 was definitely, you know, like, you know, they, 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 they had their shifts full every, every day and every night. Uh, but I saw these kids in the, in the basin, and usually they were tagging with spray paint or whatever, but this time, I couldn't tell if they had like a gun or if they had some kind of um, you know, it looked like it looked like explosive. I don't know what it was, but I knew it was bad. And I'm like, honey, I got no, I hadn't called yet. I wasn't calling up 911 operator, honey. I was to my wife, my girlfriend. I was saying, honey, honey. I was like, look what they're doing. She's like, I know it doesn't look right. So I'm gonna call 911. And she goes. Don't call 911. They don't want to hear from you. I, go, I, I should call 911 right now. I should call 911. She's like, why are you going to call 911? I said, I got to call 911. So I called 911. Hello, what's your emergency? I was like, I, I don't know if this is an emergency or not, but there are these kids, you know, 18, something like that, and I think they have, you know, explosives. Well, I'm telling you, before I even put the phone down, whoop, 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 helicopter with the spotlight comes over, and I'm like, I look so cool to my wife that I could call in an airstrike just like that. So I've never really properly thanked the 911 community for helping me look cool to my girlfriend at a very important early stage of our relationship. Beyond that, the emotional, the psychological, the physical toll it takes on uh, on the the telecommunications safety folks is um, it's a lot. And just know that I, for one, on behalf of my wife and family. Um, our friends, my colleagues, everyone we know, we, we love you. We're so grateful. We're so grateful for you. There's a lot of problems, you know, with, in, the, in the political world. But one thing that everyone of every political party and every demographic everywhere is you want to be able to pick up the phone and call and hope that there's someone who can help you on the other end of the line, someone who can send you help. So that's what you do. That's what you've dedicated your lives to, uh, and I don't take you for granted, and no one uh, takes you for granted, and if they do, shame on them. So much love to everyone in the public safety telecommunications business, because our business is helping. I'm telling you, I'm going to work in the PR department. I, I think I could come up with some good stuff. 911, you guys rock.